Greetings and salutations from... No offense, but ladies and gentlemen, like most people of my generation, or generations before me, you just hit that point where you just feel so cynical about everything. From things that are going on in all across the world, wars, just the stupidity of the current generation, de de generation you're living in, your parents, your friends, your goddamn roommate, the music, the fact that society cannot even enjoy a good book. So, instead of giving you that, today, I'm just going to sit back and just ramble on about the 1990s, since I have clearly lost my cotton pick in mind. So, like I said, most of my generation do kind of miss the 1990s, but... The reason why I miss it, oh, it's not because I want to go back to a time period where gay people were picked on or hated or anything like that. No. I mean, they're getting picked on now, and they've been picked on for a very long time. So it's not just this current generation that's been treating them badly. It's been, well, pretty much, well, I don't know, since man discovered that man and man sex was just gross, I guess. I don't know. Same thing with women or women's sex. Same thing. We walked into our, our little caves is, and since, you know, you're not there, but there you go. Two people up. Uh, same gender, getting it on. But no offense to the gay community, I respect you 100%, but that's what we're saying. Like, it's just... Anyways. And religion is to blame, too. I mean, to be fair, uh, Roman... Anyways, we don't... I'll say that for another time. This is about the 1990s. Anyways, yeah, I miss when this wasn't popular. Facebook didn't exist, and my sleep or my bedtime would have been about right now. Oh, maybe midnight at best. Uh, I could focus on things. Uh, my favorite shows have been on. My favorite shows when I was growing up pretty much was, well, everything that you could try to find. <sighs> it's on Kinnick right about now. Um, at this hour. Um, music was a lot better. I mean, I listened to how it was back then, I go, I mean, just today, I was listening to a men's league. No one should ever do this under any circumstance. But I was sitting back and I was watching uh, Kanye's new video. Now said. See. Dying these phrase. Just came out of my mouth. But anyways, uh -huh. yeah. I just sat there and I was like, and, you know, people sit back today. You want to bet today's show just sits there now? Going, oh, well, everything's better than it was in the 1990s. Shut up, people. I mean, while we're on, on subject, uh, I was watching Captain Planet, where you would learn all about environmental awareness. I know, yeah, it was a pretty cheesy, over-the-top show, and... Folks, come on, you know, there, there were some downsides to it. I could have done a little bit more preening and 
could be better taken care of. But it is missed because it was a show that was trying, trying to educate a, a group of people. I mean, heck, I don't even look back on it in a negative context anymore. Also, I didn't spit upon the 70s that much, and I never did as much as I do now. I understand it's been 40 years ago, but I didn't ask for a The Hills Are Alive with Sound of Music make, remake, okay? I did not want a Sa Saving Mr. Banks movie. I certainly do not want a remake of anything of The Hobbit, as much as I love The Hobbit. Why? Do we need this, folks? Think about it. Do we really need this? Exactly. But, however, that's how our society is. I miss the days where, if there was a reality show, there was one, and it was on one channel alone. Okay, actually, that's not really fair. Cops existed. And, but, even then, we had shows, we only had maybe, like, three, maybe, at best, as reality shows, and I think I can only name two, like, Cops and Real World, which apparently started back in the 19th, beginning in the 1990s, and it was actually really good. That was back when reality shows actually, uh, picked out, hmm, I don't know, people who were interesting, and not freaking stupid, but Today, <laughs> we got big, fat people by the name of Mama. Mama! Who did their own freaking reality shows? My God. And it just stopped there. It stopped there. Mm -mm. Are you aware of the fact that Snooki and Wow? Oh, no, no, no. Everyone knows Snooki and Jay Well have their dumb reality show. But, at worst, at worst, now, Kesha, K E Dalsa Ha, has her own reality show now. Yeah. Do you think she deserves that reality show? Considering this woman cannot, well, no, I don't think she can sing. Uh, is she interesting? Well, if you think Valley Girls from the 1980s were interesting, and when I'm talking Valley Girl, I'm talking like Valley Girl that just went to a kegger and hasn't yet sobered up. Interesting. Mm hmm. She has a little cat by the name of Peepers. Would she try to retrain and go back to the wild instead of you know doing what most people should do when they have pets, which is give them freaking boundaries? I swear. I, I, uh, I swear. This is why the lining of my esophagus is going to get thinner. I mean, I already have, have, uh, I already have, have GERD, acid reflux, everything known to man. Heck, folks, I can't even digest lactose because of that. So, now, one of these days, my, uh, esophagus is just gonna be, and I'll be eating out of where my old YouTube was, right there. See? Okay, right there. Yeah, if, if that's not freaky enough for you, I don't know what is. Yeah, see, he was back up like Superman. That's, um, taunt. Oh, that too. I mean, it's not that I want to go back to writing gay people to be the way that we used to have them. Because, it, trust me, the, even then, whenever I watched those shows, I just thought they were silly. 
Like, it's not that I laughed at it because, oh, ha ha ha, dumb gay person. No, I was laughing at it because, well, to be honest, I just thought they were funny little people. That's all it was. I didn't think they were gay. I didn't think it had anything to do with their sexuality. You know, I hate to tell you this, but, um, even, uh, heterosexual people tend to be weird. Where do you think we got the idea for BDMS? To stay in a fat folks. I mean, to be fair, I'm happy to have you two. I'm happy to have a lot of technological stuff, so don't pull out the whole, oh, the keyboards and start saying, hey, you're, you're an idiot. You don't appreciate anything. Blah, 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 blah. It's just, there are times where, hopefully, one day, I'll be 40 years old. Now, of course, Sarah Connor does not make it look good. She does not. Trust me, I said this every time I went to work at my, my old job at Panera's. Yep, I used to work at Panera's, my local, local town Panera shop. And I'll be honest about it. I didn't. Well, I'm not going to talk bad about that place right now, but, yeah. I'm looking forward to 2030, because every time I think about when I do turn 40 years old, it's only going to get worse. This is bad, alright? This, this is just bad. The environment is way worse than it was 20 years ago. I mean, some people will argue, 40 years ago, my attitude is, um, I would like to at least live in a world where we believe in environmentalism and global warming. Now, mind you, I like to live in a world where it wasn't a huge, major concern. I just like to live in a world where we didn't deny it. Like, more, heck, another is, in fact, is, uh, evolution. I like people who actually believe in science. Simple scientific things. Okay, that that's all I want. I just want common sense. And I cannot live in the sixties. It's not that the sixties were bad, it is not saying the seventies were bad. Oh that too. Maybe for television shows later. Oh I can't watch anything on television anymore. I used to. I used to watch everything on television. My god, everything on television was Excellent when I was a kid. But then again, I was also like a kid, so mind you, my thinking, my thinking capabilities were just going, huh, that's kind of cool. Flying horse in the sky. Hey, the Powerpuff Girls. So yeah, I don't deny the stupidity of some of the shows. And even I recognize how stupid some of the shows we used to watch when we were kids. The difference is, I would never say or compare it to the 1970s. Nobody was. And no one happens to be. Yet, I'll get dumb people who will be like, Yet, this was supposed to be better than the 70s. No. The 70s were out 20 years ago. It was irrelevant to that point. You know, that's also another thing I don't get. Just because it was 20 years ago does not necessarily make it relevant, but ironically, does not make it more relevant. You know, the fact that it existed 20 years ago, 40 years ago, um, to me, that's like, here's how I look at it. Are you going to walk in the dark? Let's put it this way. Let's say you're walking into a cave. You know, it's bright and sunny outside and everything. And as you walk in, are you honestly going to say it got a lot brighter? Those who said yes on that can just click and subscribe for me. Because that is why I think society is going stupider in that way. Because, I'm sorry, that's just no. Just freaking no. Okay? But do I hate everything in the 70s? No. We would just like to live in a world where bell bottoms were not popular anymore. Okay? We're not wearing them. I, I'm not wearing them. 
I like Grunge to come back more into style, but without the help of Kim and Kanye was I hate saying this fudge him. Okay, just fudge him up up there bloody ready whatever well, I know what Kanye is, but I don't know what Kim is. I just wish they would There, okay? But anyways, that's enough ranting for me for today. I know this took about 15 minutes, and I was just... Maybe to you, but I need to get it off my chest, just because everything just makes my brain go... Anyways, this is Evie telling you to follow me on my Tumblr, my Twitter. And hey, if you got anything I could rant about for you, put it down in the descriptions below. And have a great night. And tell your friends about my channel as well. And please, share, rate, and comment. And 